establishment of a new traffic separation scheme and associated routing measures in the Sunda Strait and Lombok Strait, Indonesia. Indonesia is the largest archipelagic state situated in the most strategic location for international navigation connecting the Indian Ocean and the Pacific Ocean. Among the lanes provided for international navigation, Sunda Strait and Lombok Strait are considered very important for multiple reasons. Firstly, more than 53,000 ships of various sizes pass through the waters of Sunda Strait every year, and more than 36,000 ships pass through the waters of Lombok Strait annually. In addition to their essential role in aiding international navigation, the straits are also characterized with rich marine biodiversity, the ocean sunfish or Mola Mola, the green turtle, and the hawksbill turtle. According to WWF, these species are critically endangered. Furthermore, there's a number of unique and beautiful marine creatures that reside in these straits, such as Centropige Ibli and Centropige Vraliki, and their natural hybridization. Tiny, beautiful fish, like the Parapersis bimacula and Manonichthus. As part of the coral reef triangle, Lombok Strait is also the home of 296 beautiful coral reef species. Natural Tourism Interests Sangyang Natural Tourism Park in Sunda Strait that is rich with wildlife and vegetation. Marine Tourism Park in Nusa Penida Island of Lombok Strait contains many potential coral reefs, mangroves, sea grasses, and almost all the important fishery resources, including sea mammals like whales and dolphins. Marine Protected Areas Nusa Penida Island, which was designated as a marine conservation area in 2014. The Gili Islands, which were designated as a conservation area and marine tourism park in 2014. In line with the world's population and economic growth, marine activities are also increasing. There are a growing number of vessels with their larger size and higher speeds being characteristic of the current development. Most of the vessels serve the international needs of goods and logistics transportation. In order to maintain a sustainable safe passage in both straits, a number of risks must be addressed. For instance, grounding possibilities, potential collision and head-on situations, Damage to the marine environment. Socio-economic detriment in the area. Damage to our natural heritage that should be preserved for our children. Risks caused by the potential impact of Mount Krakatoa's eruption. Demonstrating a strong commitment to addressing these concerns, the government of Indonesia has implemented necessary measures to ensure safe passage for international navigation and the protection of marine environment in both straits. For instance, via the provision of aids to navigation. Vessel traffic services. Coastal radio stations. Marine protected areas. Hydrographic surveys and sea observations. However, more needs to be done. Proper routing measures must still be established. As a major archipelagic state and member of international maritime societies, Indonesia is fully committed to ensuring the sustainability of safe passage for international navigation through both straits and, at the same time, protecting the rich and diverse features of the marine environment at those straits. Multiple studies and research has been conducted using reliable scientific approaches and tools in order to materialize this vision. Now it's time for all of us to fully support the effort made for the success at the last placement of the new traffic separation scheme and associate routing measure in the Sunda and Lombok Street. Let's keep our maritime heritage remain safe, rich and diverse for our children.